Buddhists try to reassure skeptics. They want to seek the full control of Yemen as Saudi's eye exit. Yemen's Houthi Revolutionary Committee President Mohammed Ali Al Houthi speaks in Sana, Yemen, on March 27. Abu Dhabi, UAE, CNN. Yemen's Houthi rebel, rebels are not interested in spreading tyranny in the country and they are willing to share power with other political fractions. Factions, if a pol- permanent ceasefire with Saudi Arabia is reached, a top Houthi official has said. In an exclusive interview with CNN, Mohammed Ali Al Houthi, member of the Supreme Political Council and the former head of Yemen's Houthi Supreme Revolutionary Committee, said that other Yemeni factions have nothing to fear in case of the withdrawal of foreign troops from the country, promising a inclusive form of governance. If we are not looking for full control during the war, then we will not look for full control at any other time, Al Houthi told CNN. His attempt at reassurance will likely be viewed skeptically by the Houthis' rivals and come amid concerns from other stakeholders that the truce with Saudi Arabia will give a heavily armed Iran back the rebels' free reign to take over the entire country. Yemen's conflict began as a civil war in 2014 when Houthi forces stormed the capital Sana'a and uh, toppled the internationally recognized and Saudi-backed government. He spiraled into the wider war in 2015 when a Saudi-led coalition intervened in an attempt to beat back the Houthis. Eight years later, the coalition has been unable to dislodge dislodge the labels who have fired hundreds of rockets towards the Saudi cities in retaliation. The war has sparked one of the world's worst humanitarian crises, leaving thousands dead and pushing part of the country into famine. The Saudi delegation arrived in Sana'a on Sunday. Or talks with the Houthis arm aimed at securing the permanent ceasefire. And on Friday, negotiations bore their biggest fruit yet, with the beginning of the three day prisoner swap of nearly 900 detainees from both sides. Houthi chief negotiator Mohammed Abdul Salam tweeted on Friday that talks had been serious and positive. Saudi Arabia has begun mending ties with all the foes of late, namely Iran, Syria, and now Yemen's Houthis, as it redirects its focus on economic growth at home, which requires regional stability. Saudi Arabia currently needs stability on its southern border and to eliminate the threat to it from Houthis and others, said Ahmed Nagy a senior Yemen analyst at the International Crisis Group of Rochelle-based think tank, adding that it will transform each role in Yemen from a military one to one of soft power. Al Houthi told CNN the group is willing to share power and resources with the Yemeni people. We do not want to tyrannize anything, he said, adding that he is keen to speak to other Yemeni factions and walk with them to achieve what is in their interest and in the interest of the public. Escalating the civil war, experts have argued that the Saudi deal with the Houthis that does not address the pre-existing political problems among Yemen's disparate groups will only and the international dimension of the war and could escalate the civil conflict. Other factions, especially the internationally 
but recognized the government and the UAE-backed Southern Transitional Council called the STC that controls a part of the South may find our Houthis' promises difficult to believe, experts say, as all other stakeholders in the conflict, including the United Nations, have been exclusive from the current Houthi-Saudi talks. CNN has reached out to Saudi government for comment. What our Houthi means by Yemen's interest is recognizing the Houthis as the only resonate authority to rule the country. Nadua Al Tausari, a non resident fellow at the Middle East Institute in Washington, D.C., told CNN. What he means is that the Houthis have no intention of forcefully taking over Yemen if all other parties accept to be subordinate to the Houthis in any future arrangement. The STC, she said, is heavily dependent on the UAE's support, and if that ends with the withdrawal of foreign forces, they don't have a great chance to stand up to the Houthis who have much more sophisticated weapons of fighting experience, training, and Iranian commanders helping them. Returned Houthi prisoners exchanged in a deal with the Yemen's internationally recognized government are greeted upon arrival at Sana'a International Airport on Friday. The STC didn't respond to CNN's request for comment, but has said previously that it stands by its rejection of the Houthis controlled Yemen. The group has dem- demanded the split of the country into the north and south. The Houthi leader told CNN he expected South Arabia, Saudi Arabia to ensure the departure of all foreign forces, including the UAE, from the country. We are not we are in agreement with the Saudis that we need all foreign forces to leave Yemen, he said. There is no complete resolution that can be reached unless all occupying forces leave the Yemeni Republic, and this includes all Iceland and other areas. The UAE is a member of the South Saudi lead coalition, but partially withdrew its troops from Yemen in 2019. Abu Dhabi nonetheless retains a strong influence over Yemen's south. Al-Dawa Sari said Abu Dhabi and Riyadh may not see eyes to eye on the future of Yemen, but the UAE has repeatedly said that it supports Saudi Arabia's effort in the country. On Monday, a senior UAE official told CNN that the UAE supports the current effort by Saudi Arabia to bring a political solution to the crisis, to bring peace and a permanent end to hostilities between all the various Yemen parties. War Compensation Mohammed Ar- Ali al Houthi told CNN that talks with the Saudis hasn't included political things, ins- insisting that Riyadh instead focus on meeting the group's demands, such as removing the blockade, blockade on port, opening Yemen's airspace, and paying the sal- salaries of the public sector employees. Internal matters, including demands by the STCs for the south of the country to secede, will be dealt with at a later stage, he said. The STC will be given it is rightful to them, he said, but not more. He did not rule out the separation of the south, but stressed that any solutions to the southern issue must be taken without foreign influence. Al Houthi repeatedly stressed the importance of Saudi Arabia meeting the group's humanitarian demands, referring to the compensation package that would have Riyadh pay for the rebuilding of the country and the salaries of public sector workers. The discussions remain secretive, and it is unclear how much compensation the Houthis have demanded, but the experts expect it to be substantial. 
The Hookies have said in the past that it is seeking compensation for 1.3 million public employees and that the war has led to the cut in salaries and other expenses of the nearly 95%, according to Houthi's, Houthi media. But some experts are concerned that the Houthi would, would use the money to pay its militia, militia members. Even if the Saudis agree to pay the salaries, we have no clear image of what that might look like, Nagi said, adding that the internationally recognized government may also require payment. Even if, a, even if a Saudi Houthi deal is reached, there is no guarantee that other Yemeni factions will accept it, experts say. Based on what we see, it is clear that those who are negotiating are closer to winning, Nagi said, while those who, those who are exclusive, excluded from the talks are closer to losing. Mustafa Salam Salim contributed to this article.